What's up my friend? I hope you are well. I am Y311H and today's episode of Walk and Creepy TikToks. Before we even start, we shall go through some comments here, which have been left behind by Good Vibes guys. And there's this Good Vibes guy called at Kengi Ang, Kengi Ang 1908 said, alright, 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 maybe. Maybe and maybe what? You could have told us maybe what? That was in episode 842. And another good vibes guy called at Rainy Duya. Rainy Duya. He said, I saw the look on your face after seeing you rollerblading. I can just imagine you trying the winged motorbike. Oh my god. <laughs> you see, you can't imagine. You see that look on my face? That one was uh, nothing compared to now, this time, when that st story was happening. He's saying, yeah. imagine you uh, trying the motorcycle that was hard. Ah, uh, that one I can't try! The motorcycle we saw some English man with that uh, hard wings going up. Ah, uh, that one I can't risk. You see, I saw it all in Rora Brady. You can check that episode if you have it. Episode 843, you see? Let's go to the next comment. Some good vibes guy called that Joe Hillel 359. He said, What are you eating? What are you eating good today? That was in episode 843. My friend, that what you saw was a cassava. That's how a cassava looks like. Uh, and there is also another good vibes guy by the name Aaron Hatan. Aaron Hatan is always great seeing comments from you. See, you are a lovely soul. May God bless you with your family and those around you abundantly. They were telling us also in the same episode, episode 843. He's making a jet engine. Sounds like something I would say lol. <laughs> well, that told me myself I was surprised to see a jet engine from pieces of cans. That is an, uh, unexplainable. Check that episode out what episode there if you have it. And uh, you sir, IQ1. YB6UZ10 Oh my god, some of your names, my friends. I would like to know what inspired yourself to call yourself that. He said, first one, roll. That duck bike, that duck, that bike flying was awesome. It's the same bike that uh, Aaron Hatton was talking about in that episode. That bike, my friend. English people. Those are the kind of games you play. <laughs> that one is crazy. Tell us, have you ever had such or had an experience with one? You see, I'd like to know. And let's go through the next comment here. By ah, yeah. Hey, everyone. Blessings and love to you all. Christy Hachi also telling us in episode 842. Christy, how are you doing? I hope you are well. Blessings and love. Kisses to you and your family. All those around you, see? Another good vibes guy say hi everyone blessings and love you all you see and trow girl beautiful ways sending much love that was in episode 842 and Jedi Master a uh, Jedi Master how are you doing is everything okay you see the Jedi Master told us in episode 841 blood don't come out of chicken anymore because they have evolved Chicken have evolved, but they are still the same. They are methods of extracting it before selling it to you. That's all. And that's not to say that they are not poisoning everything they feed us. Because I know they do, but the blood thing in the chicken, that's just squeezed out better. Huh, that's all. Hey, Jedi tells us that people in modern times know how to do chicken slaughter than people back then. Do you think that's true, good babe So Is that why we don't see blood from chicken when boiling? I had English people, they don't see it. Yeah, we still see blood on the chicken when boiling it. But uh, it's hard since people rarely cook chicken. People are eating green stuff here. He said, dude, you guys put out video after video after video, almost back to back. Where can anybody get the idea that you don't work? The comment that said hardest working guys on YouTube, that's more like it. The only Josie I have ever heard of is a kid on Rock Sock. Uh, Josie, there's someone talking about you here. He says, my question, 
Yeah, is the real JOA to the C. Ho oh, ho, Joe, got more game than Callisto. What? This one, Jedi Master, are you a rapper or what's up? This is some good rhymes here, you see? Much love to you. Jedi Master was talking about some comment we had uh, read in, uh, I think, episode 843, you see, of some good web soul called JJJ, who was claiming that they think there is nothing that is done here, you see? And uh, we addressed that issue. My friends, I'm really glad to see people like Jedi Master, among others, acknowledge what is done here. So let me tell you, there are people here in this channel that spend sleepless nights to make sure the videos reach you guys, you see? And uh, for that, always hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed, my friend, subscribe so that one day will also read your comment as you go through this, you see? Let's go to the next one. At page Mampa, saying amen to the prayers, amen. Good vibes to you at user IN80R6NH. That's just one name. 4T said they should have left that huge fish, alligator, or whatever it was alone. I agree. Not telling how old it is, it was to get that size. You see? Man, you can't imagine. That was in episode 842, where some good vibes guy took an animal out of uh, the water. You see? And Josie. Hey, Josie, Josie left some super nuts. Oh, wow, wow, wow. My God. Josie. Um, no. Honestly, out of words. I don't know what to tell you. My friend, tell you something to Josie. I see they have left another super nuts. You see? May, may God bless him and give him how many times he been? Uh, more than 10 times. A million times. Yeah, Josie, be blessed. From, and your family, may your cup overflow, you see, with blessings and love. Say, thank you for covering Project 2025. If that guy wins, the civil rights of people of color in America will be under attack. Project 2025 is going to make America a very different place. And it's scary. Huh. The rich guy, is it the T-R-U-M-P, also doesn't think climate is a threat to people either. If he comes back to power, it would be a disaster. And I thank you guys for trying to spread awareness. That was in episode 842. There was a video there talking about some project 2025 thing that will happen in English lands. Allegedly, all of it. You can check it out if you haven't and see the information that is there. See? And at user IN, the wrong name as you had said, commented again. That is in episode 842 saying, Sending love from Oklahoma, USA. God bless you, my friend. That name sounds like uh, an, uh, this side's name, a native name of something. Oklahoma. You see, in this side of the world, Homa means flu. Now, Oklahoma, do people there have flu or just another good vibes name? You see, let's keep on reading comments here. Okay, let's go. At Marshall, Marshall Mel. 2519 said, hope you, hope you all and everyone have a blessed day. You too, from wherever you are, have a blessed day. And at the main power, leaves lots of comments here. And he said, love to everybody in episode 842. And love to you too and those around you and family. Blessings your way, please. At you, sir, 9R3HV2FQSX. <laughs> These names. They said, the book of wisdom, the book of wisdom is the Bible. That you have always said is called aka the Bible. You see, only eating at night is crazy. And that's what uh, they also think at page member. You look like you are having fun though. That's all that matters. That was in uh, that episode which you are skating, the one where I was an episode there, where we showed how these cars I got this scar. Now they have healed. You cannot think it's a scar. But it was something big, you see? And Aaron Hatton say, Yo, what's up, brothers? Thanks for the shout out. Glory be to God Almighty. Keep up the good work. I love it, family. Love you all. Love to you too at Aaron Hatton. And love to everybody that even watches, hits the like button, and doesn't leave comments. Thanks to those guys that have hit the super thanks. At Josie and uh, at uh, Mash 
that one I will big up you the day in a good way in a, the next episode but first let's read from the book of knowledge you see we have not yet started if it's your first time it's what we are now about let's read the book first come to me all you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light those were the words of jesus christ in matthew 12:28 Let's also give thanks to God for that. Dear Lord, thank you very much for this part. Thank you for this person that have clicked this video. Thank you for the goodness of their life and ours, Father. Thank you for our pets, Father. Thank you even for the fruit of today. Thank you for your award, Lord. And thank you for forgiveness of all our sins. Be with us and guide us every minute till the end. In Jesus mighty name we pray and believe amen Let's dive in we shall be reacting to videos good vibes all the way Haja my friend eh okay good vibes let's dive in huh. What's going on here hmm on the sky There is are those people my friend are those people when the sky is there oh what's going on are these aeroplanes are these stars what are these things what are these are people doing oh those are aeroplanes do you yeah oh they are called para hey those things i don't know about them hmm. are these planes now with the people they look nice man these are the planes that do their um, in the sky or what's up oh they really look cool are they driven by people hmm oh okay this one is exciting man people having fun in their eyes this one is uh, good vibes the smoke even changes color how how oh look at this they have parachute oh ay these ones are not planes mm. they are people Ah, I thought they are little prince. Oh, I'm surprised. These are people with the parachutes. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> This one looks exciting and uh, just good vibes. Some good way of having fun, you see? Hey, it looks extremely nice. Hello. Oh, How people just there? And you good day. It's an honor to meet you. And you as well. Thank you. Would you talk to us about Jesus? Yes, Because I would. I have a feeling that he was misunderstood in his day. Very and, much so. And, Still misunderstood to this day. And the Bible day. I'm thinking doesn't isn't an accurate translation of what he was trying to Not teach always, us no. tell us. No. Much of what in that sense that individual was teaching is very similar to what you are now understanding in what you call your metaphysical age. The idea is that simply people back then couldn't understand it. But to put it in a more fundamental sense, Yeshua, or as you say, Jesus, really did not intend in any way, shape, or form to create followers. Intended to create leaders, equals. Did not intend to create Christians, per se. Intended to let you all know you are Christ's. That's the greatest misunderstanding of the information. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So much of what you're understanding today is the idea that that individual was teaching. Even down to the concept of how powerfully your beliefs create your reality. Yes? yes. Because did not in that sense at least to some degree the Bible quote him as saying it is your belief, it is your faith that has made the difference? Yes. And did it not also say that when Yeshua even went back to his hometown because people there only knew him as a carpenter and did not believe in the things that other people said he could do he could do none of those things in his hometown 
And the Bible says so, very clearly. You understand? Yes. It's all about the idea of your belief system. It's all about the idea of what you know to be true. It's all about your actions, all about your alignment. This is all that individual was saying, and that's what he meant when he said, I am the way he meant be this way. I'm the example. I'm the way. Be like me. Don't go around telling everyone how to be. Be like me. Make sense? Yes. Now, when you're uh, playing with lions, it's important to never show fear. Fear! <laughs> My dad taught me when I was a little girl that God's phone number was Jeremiah 33.3. It says this, call unto me. And I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you do not know. I just want to say, it might be time for you to stop talking to people about your problems and present your requests to God. He is the one who will show you the things you do not know. Cry out to him. Tell him what's in your heart. Ask him to show you the way forward. The Bible says, knock, and I will answer. Make your request to God. Did you know that the Greys, who are the popularly known avatar for aliens or extraterrestrials, are a group of cloned slaves created by the Chekhar Empire in their genetic breeding programs? Those commonly referred to as greys, owing to their gray and sometimes brown appearance skin color and slender elongated head features, typically belong to the reptoid category, although there are also smaller populations of insectoid DNA, saurian amphibian, or vegetal varieties. They can be categorized by small or tall heights. These beings exhibit reptilian vertically slit eyes, often concealed behind biometrical dark lenses. A significant portion of greys are products of genetic engineering, biosynthetic entities, clones, cybernetically enhanced or integrated into human environments on conquered planets. Many of the grey clones are usually emotionless. Their motives vary widely, with not all being involved in abductions or experimentation, and not all displaying malevolent tendencies like those from the Orion Alliance, exemplified by the Solipsi Rai, a peaceful and benevolent species coerced and enslaved by the Orion and Chakra empires. Unfortunately, the Greys as a whole have garnered a negative reputation, primarily due to their association with reptoids and their penchant for conquest, terrorizing and enslaving various Grey factions. Their technology varies from system to system, but they are interdimensional travelers at the level of Tier 4. Among the myriad races classified as Greys, only 27 are known to visit Earth, with 22 actively engaged for diverse reasons. The story of the Greys goes back to the ancient Orion Lyran Wars spanning multiple galaxies millions of years ago. Draconian reptilians engineered various non plasmic life forms, including Grey clones, where they were initially enslaved by them. Eventually, these clones rebelled against the Draconian reptilians, their creators, sparking conflicts across Orion and Pleiades, leading to significant losses and dispersal among the Grey clone army. Seeking to preserve their genetic lineage, Greys journeyed to Earth, abducting humans to create hybrids, as seen in the Essasani group. Youthful Greys with human-like hair living on a nearby peaceful island planet in the fifth dimension. On their planet, their frequency vibrates at the fifth level. They have a society that has no war, nor death, nor crime, or poverty. They have one group of appointed councils who represent the people, their planet has a nice temperate changes similar to Earth, however. The oxygen levels are much higher. They believe in growing higher into dimensions and evolving to heal Mother Consciousness. There are a few who monitor and watch Earth even communicating to spiritual mediums through frequency vibrations. These beings have human mothers or fathers on Earth and grey DNA of the grey clone species. Further distinctions among greys include the Ainana species who are known for collaborating with the US government. Next, the peaceful and smiling Ark and the enslaved Ohu, genetically altered by Orion and Chakra agendas. The Amirtha arrived in 1954 on behalf of the Council of the Five for peaceful purposes, cautioning against the greys and Chikar. 
the Shamtanali from Zeti Reticuli maintains secret underground bases on Earth in cooperation with the US military. Various factions, such as the Solipsi Rai, have made alliances with empires for technology exchange, often involving humans. They are cloned slave workers, heavily involved in abductions and synthetic life forms. The Ebon race from Orion collaborates with the Cabal and human military. Essasani hybrids live peacefully on a nearby island planet, while Elmanuk from Alnea await Earthlings' awakening. These beings are known to visit Earth interdimensionally and plant high vibrational coding into individuals. Once this coding is implanted inside the skull of the individual, it rearranges the cells and brain for expansion of data and information. This information and data are the keys to unlocking from the matrix and the individual will be able to articulate the coding of the Galactic Federation's information to the masses, essentially raising vibrations and channeling chakras. Indugut from Orion have treaties with Earth governments and the Kili Tokert engage in abductions for food and sexual slave trade. Due to the Anunnaki of Nibiru, many greys share alien DNA with modern humans, and if you look closely at a person's skull, you can usually see if that shares similar features to greys with large frame of skull or receding forehead. Hybrids possess alien genetic coding and alien soul matrix, while rebirds, another form of hybrid, lack a soul matrix and can have human or reptoid genetic coding. Genetic engineering, particularly by the Chekhar, results in varying degrees of divergence from human traits, with distinctions evident in the eyes, a hallmark of their races. The Chekhar employ grey clones for experiments. I know that there are already many who claimed it to be the chosen one of God. I know that most of us are already confused. Who's this chosen one? But guys, let's take a look to the Revelation chapter 14. Who are this 144,000? And through the guide of the Holy Spirit, let's allow the Holy Spirit to explain everything. In Revelation chapter 14, it says, Then I looked, and there before me was the Lamb, standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, who had his name and his father's name written on their forehead. And I heard a sound from heaven like the roar of rushing waters, like a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists playing their harp. And they sang a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn the song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. These are those who did not defile themselves with women, for they remained virgins. They follow the Lamb wherever He goes. They were purchased from among mankind and offered as first fruits to God and the Lamb. No lie was found in their mouths. They are blameless. So who are these 144,000? These are those who did not defile themselves with women, for they remained virgin. Some says that this is, this is indefinite, so this is not just all men. But let's not change the verse, guys, just because we wanted to fit in. It says here, these are those who did not defile themselves with women, for they remained virgins. So obviously, the 144,000 are men who listened to Jonah. In Matthew 12, chapter 38 to 40, Jesus talked about this man. It says, Then some of the teachers of the law and the proud religious law keepers said to Jesus, Teacher, we would like to have you do something special for us to see. He said to them, The sinful people of this day look for something special to see. There will be nothing special to see but the powerful works of the early preacher Jonah. Jonah was three days and three nights in the stomach of a big fish. The son of man will be three days and three nights in the grave also. The men of the city of Nineveh will stand up with the people of this day on the day men stand before God. 
those men will say these people are guilty because the men of Nineveh were sorry for their sins and turned from them when Jonah preached. And see, someone greater than Jonah is here. So guys, the 144,000 or 144K who will stand up in the last days are men. Do you feel like veganism is a part of our future? To Define what you are calling that term. Veganism, um, you know, not eating animals. Uh, it's up to the individual. It's okay. up to what is necessary for them. Again, forming a respectful relationship and using it to your benefit. Okay. Yes? Yes. There are many, many, many very spiritual people who still consume animals. But they do it in a way the animal understands and they become part of one another in a very different way than somebody who's just chewing their way through life. Oh. Do you understand? It's a very different relationship and a very different kind of ritual and a very respectful one on a very high level. How do they go about that? Well, first again, you understand that you are a part of nature. You're not apart from it. You are a part of it. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you define yourself through that nature and you relate to the idea that everything is one thing from a different point of view. You are the animal. It is you. It's just a different reflection from a different angle. So, in a sense, all you're doing is consuming yourself. You understand? So, what if I eat, what if I eat like a piece of lettuce? Am I still eating myself? Everything is you. Oh, okay. You could eat a rock and it would be you. <laughs> from another point of view. Okay. But the point is, you don't have to force yourself to be spiritual. Allow yourself to do things in a natural way that feels correct for you. Of course. Don't force it. That's not being spiritual. Mm -hmm. Being spiritual is allowing the way things need to be to be okay until they change of their own accord naturally because you raise your vibration and then simply don't need that anymore. True. Question. How can you pray without ceasing? Answer. You can pray without ceasing by continuing to pray after you have stopped Praying vocally. Let me explain. Ephesians 3 verse 20 says, God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you ever ask or think. Here is the point. It is impossible to pray without ceasing vocally. But God commands us to pray without ceasing. Jesus even said in Luke 18 and verse 1 that men ought always to pray. But you cannot pray without ceasing vocally. But you can pray in ways that are not vocal. Such as your thinking, your desires, and your imagination. Your thoughts are prayers. God says, even before you ask, I will answer. The angel was dispatched in response to Daniel's thoughts before he expressed them vocally. Your thoughts have a voice in heaven. This is the reason why you must refuse to worry. Instead, set your thoughts and your mind on the things which are above. Set your thoughts and your mind on the word of God, on the promises of God that are forever settled in heaven. Your desires. Your desires also has a voice in heaven. So Psalms 37 verse 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Hebrews 10 verse 35 says, Do not cast away your confidence. It has a great recompense of reward. In other words, keep your hopes up. Keep them alive. Keep your godly desires alive in the presence of God. 
And when you pray, whatever you desire, when you pray, believe you receive them and you shall have them. And finally, imagination. Imagination is another means by which you can pray without ceasing. Habakkuk 2 verse 1 says, I will sit upon my watch and I will watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer. I'm going to watch until I can see what he says, until I can have that mental image and vision of what he is saying, of what he promises. What is the point? The point is this. The Bible teaches that if you can see it with the eye of your imagination, you can have it. Jeremiah 1 verse 11 and 12, God said to Jeremiah, what do you see? Jeremiah answered, and God says, you have well seen. Now I will watch over my word to perform it. Why? He was seeing the word of God. He was seeing the answer. And God says, I'm going to bring fulfillment. So your imagination needs to be in line with what your desires are, with what the word of God promises. Use your imagination on purpose. See your victory. See your healing. See your business prospering before the manifestation actually comes. In other words, again, if you can see it, you can have it. Be intentional about it. In conclusion, you can pray without ceasing by praying when you are not praying. All right? <laughs> Until we meet in the next post, stay strong, stay blessed.